and luck because we have plenty of Valentine's Day gift ideas that could turn your special someone's feelings from like to love. And right now, Lauren McDonald joins us from Rocky Mountain Soap Market with sweet suds for your sweetheart. Lauren, good morning. Hey guys, today it is all about the suds and the love. We are making sure you and your honey are smelling good this Valentine's Day right here at Rocky Mountain Soap Market with Jennifer Ross, owner of Rocky Mountain Soap Market. Thanks so much for having us out. Oh, absolutely. I love being here and I love the new store. The smells are just great, right? Thank you, yeah. So let's talk about where this all started, right here at the soap, right? Right, it did. I actually was transitioning out of teaching, and I started soaping and uh, making soap and drying it in my basement, and it kind of just blossomed from there, and I just, you just get hooked on it. You really do. Yeah, four yeah. and a half years, and look at look at what you've grown into. Exactly. It's awesome. It's, it's a amazing. Blessing. Yeah. So these are some of your signature. How many different varieties of soap do you use? You share? know, we transition in and out, but we've probably had on the table about 40 to 60 different varieties. Mm -hmm. These are all cold processed natural soaps, and we do have an organic selection as well sure. for those folks that love that. And right now, we've got boxes here, so you can choose the box you want, the scent you love for Valentine's Day, and it's giftable. So right. that's great. Very cool. Would I you like it. to learn how to cut soap? I would love to learn how to I soap. thought you might. <laughs> and, so, okay, so we're going to go over here and do that. You also have soap samplers for people who want to get their special someone a little bit of everything. Right? That's true. We do. We've got uh, sample soaps. Oh, I got um, We've got. Way. You're going to walk around. We're going to. We're going to put you to the test. We do have uh, the odds and ends here, and Cindy can tell you a little bit more about that. So when we do cut our soap loaves, we actually do end up with some end pieces, and what we'll do is just create a little sampler soap tin where all of our different soap ends can actually be put in. And it's a great way because then you actually get to test different scents of soap mm -hmm. and we'll actually find out which one that you like. Little sampler pack, I yes. love it. All right, so cutting the soap. Cutting the soap. So the soaps come to us like this in a large loaf mm -hmm. and we're able to get about 10 loaves out of each loaf of soap. I love that you guys call it a loaf. It yes. is a loaf, yes. yes. So great. this is our Garden of the Gods clover. Okay. Um, it actually is a very fresh scent. It is. It so smells great. This is what they look like when they're done. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get you going and okay. learn how to cut some soap. Perfect. Any so tips? best way, yep, just hold it on each end, okay. and you're just going to cut straight down. Okay. All the way. <laughs> oh, it's not as hard as I thought. Smooth as silk. Wonderful. I love it cuts it. like butter. Yeah, so great. All right. Yeah, you did great. Look at that. So tell everybody a little bit about this soap. What makes this soap so special? So the soap actually does have coconut oil. It is cold processed, like Miss mm -hmm. Jennifer did say. It's right. very moisturizing. Um, it's got shea in it. Each of the scents have, like she said, we do have some organic soaps that right. are actually naturally scented. So even for people that might have an allergy, they can come here and get. Yes, sure. we do have some that are very mildly scented so some of them you know are definitely a little stronger we've sure. got florals we've got natural scents citrus scents earthy yeah. scents you name it we've got it it smells so good in here I love it I do not want to leave ladies thank you so much for having us in today it has been so much fun Jennifer tell everybody where you're located and where they can get more information if they're interested in learning more about absolutely you. we are at 212 North Tejon we're right next to title 9 and CJ card we're across from Acacia Park so if you find the skirted heifer or title 9 just just keep walking a smidgen north and we're right there. I love it. All right, guys, remember, love is patient, love is kind. Come get yourself some soap and your love will be divine this <laughs> Valentine's Day. Thanks again, ladies. Excellent. For now, I'm Lauren McDonald reporting in Colorado Springs for Fox 21 Local News right now. Lauren, thanks. So there's cheese logs and then there's a log of soap. Yeah. Did you see that? He's cut oh, right good. through it. Yeah, <laughs> like butter. Good stuff. All right. 827.